What up YouTube, Doug here, TWT Balls Thursday video. So today we're gonna do something that's really beneficial. We're gonna show how we prepare our dog semen for our in-house artificial inseminations or how we prepare it, package it, and ship it out to uh, customers who use our studs. So I spared you the details on collecting from Legend. Here's the dog semen here we collected from Legend. So the first thing we're gonna do is Collect the semen, and then we're going to, uh, just in a basic AI pipette and uh, oral syringe, we're going to suck it into here. All right, so we'll get our collection. And I don't sit there and collect for 20 minutes and get a ton of seminal fluid, because that's really not what we want. Um, we just want the semen to be really white, to be really cloudy, and to look a good quality. We don't want it to be pink or red. We don't want it to be really see-through clear. But we'll collect the semen. Then we'll place it in here and you see right there I have like six and a half milliliters which is perfect. So now we're going to close this, make sure it's good and tight and then we're going to push, put this in our centrifuge so we can spin the semen down and separate the seminal fluid from the real sperm rich semen. Now I'm going to take another one and get about six milliliters of water in this one so I can uh, balance it because I don't want it to be off balance and shaking. So I got about six of water in here. Some people will use hand sanitizer, just anything just to balance it. So I always put the dog semen in number one and then the balancer directly opposite it. And then we'll put the centrifuge for about seven minutes. So I'll set the timer to seven and I'll put it at an RPM of 1500. And so this is gonna spin down the semen and we'll show you what it looks like. And then when the semen is spun down, what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the excess seminal fluid and this stuff is worth its weight in gold. This is our semen extender. So you can see it here. This is the semen extender we use. Shout out to Love My Pups. They have a YouTube channel and uh, they sell the centrifuge, the semen extender, everything you need for dog breeding, they sell at their website, mybreedersupply.com, and that's where I ordered a ton of this semen extender. So this comes chilled, and it lasts two years in your refrigerator. So I bought a ton of these bottles, keep them in the refrigerator. There's 20 milliliters in a bottle, and I use four milliliters each breeding. So one bottle will get you five breedings. A bottle of this is about $40, $45. So one bottle of this will get you five breedings. So one thing to note is because it's in the fridge, on the day that you're doing your breeding, you want to put four milliliters of it in a um, container or put it out so it can get to room temperature because you don't want to add the uh, cold semen extender to the semen or you could shock it and kill it. So I've already brought it down to room temperature here. Um, this collection is a uh, legend who's going out to, where'd he go? Legend, he's going out to Texas. So legend, come here. Legend's going out to Texas. He just had eight puppies out in California using this process. And we started doing this preparation process even for our in-house, in-person artificial insemination. So if you use one of our studs and you come to do an in-person breeding, we'll invite you down here to my basement. We'll show you all the dogs and we will spin down the semen. We'll add the semen extender. And before we put it in your female, we'll do the same thing. Um, a lot of people ask, when you collect a dog, you have about 30 minutes of that fresh semen before it starts to die off. So you want to do, between the collection, the preparing the semen, and the insemination, or the collection, the pre preparing the semen, and the chilling it to ship out, you want to keep it within 30 minutes. So we have plenty of time. I spin it down for seven minutes here. And this has been, I mean, as far as upping the chances of your females getting pregnant, as far as having bigger litters, it's funny how a small process like this can make such a big difference in um, both in-person, fresh AIs, and obviously shipping dog semen out. Uh, we tried many milk-based powdered extenders. We tried different semen extenders vets use, and none of it worked like this stuff. And when you combine it with removing the excess seminal fluid and then adding this stuff, it's really great. So this centrifuge is a great investment. They're about $70, $80, but they're definitely worth it. I mean. Looks like we got like three minutes left and I'll show you what this looks like. But this is the way to do it. And I love doing it like this for both in-house breedings, like I said, and also for uh, shipping the dog semen out. So it makes a big, big difference. So I have my semen extender here ready to go. We're just waiting on this centrifuge to spin the semen down. <laughs> Look at Legend here. <laughs> we a Legend. He's happy. This was his turn. So 
you guys can see Papita, she harasses my dad. The bulls are out here loving it, but uh, this is what we do, I'm telling you guys at work. So anytime you use one of our studs, you're always invited to come do two in-person readings with me and we'll do this process with you. Um, or like I said, we can next day ship it to you and it really does work. We've put a lot of time, a lot of effort. We've gone through a lot to figure out this process and uh, it really works great. We'll be shipping Champ to California next week. Um, we're shipping Legend today, so we're doing a lot, a lot of this. And uh, like I said, even, even on these fresh AI breedings, we will spin the semen and add the extender because it will help the semen live a lot longer. Um, getting close, close to the end. We got about one more minute to go, and we'll show you how this looks. And here's little Papita coming off her puppies. A little compact papita. You guys know we're really focusing on the extra, extra short backs and thick muscular rears. <laughs> Diego's about to talk to my brother as he's doing this video here. That's what it's all about, these real short backs. That's what we're into over right here. All right, we're, we're almost wrapping it up. Look at my dad get him bombarded. And uh, when you're shipping dog semen out, a lot of people will use their vet to do this process, which is fine. But the way you package it and chill it is just as important as preparing it. It's very important. So if you chill, if, if the semen, even with the extender, if it gets too cold too fast, it's going to die. And if it doesn't get cold enough, it's going to run out of energy and die. So come over here. Let's take a look. Our centrifuge has stopped. So when you pull it out, boom. Can you see that with the background? You can see that rich semen that's a sperm semen pellet right there that's a rich pellet that's what you want so that's the real deal right there so we're gonna take the excess the excess seminal fluid out go down to about a milliliter so we're gonna remove that excess fluid so we're down to just that sperm rich pellet that's what we want and then with the sperm rich pellet we will add the semen extender. So you have the sperm rich pellet with the quality semen extender. And if I was doing an AI, if I was doing an AI, this is where I would load it up and put it in the female. But in this case, we're shipping it. We're shipping Big Legend out. So my dad's going to take over here now. We're going to show how he packages it up. Make sure the cap is tight and I put a tape over the top. Just in case during shipment, we don't want anything coming loose. And then I take these little bubble wrap bags and I'll put one in. And I'll close that up. And wrap that around. And then I take a second bubble wrap bag. Yeah, and it's real important because you don't want it to get too cold too fast. And uh, we've experimented, we've done a ton of shipments, and this is what truly works. Got it? Yeah, that's good. Hold that while I put a little tape around there. Yep. So what I'll do is I'll Put a piece of tape around there. Yep. So that's all nice. And I take the ice packs. These are already hard ice packs. And we'll hold them. I'll hold them right here up against the bubble wrap. And we'll tape it around there. Tape it around one way. Hold that in there. And I'll tape it around the other way. Tape it around. And we found this is the ideal way to get it to that chilled desired temperature without it so being too fast or taking too long. I have a little package between the ice packs with the bubble wrap so it's not directly on the ice. We have a shipping carton with styrofoam inside. This is perishable fluid. So I'll put that in here. There's some paper towel there. Yeah, we'll put it in here. Let me grab the paper towel. Put it in there. So here you go. There's a sample right there. So you can go to you or to your vet. Then I'll take paper towel. I'll put it on either side just to make sure it's secure in there. You can see that is secure. We got the top. Close it up. 
tape it. Tape it. And then we next day, and we will next day air to FedEx, ship it to you. We can ship it to your doorstep or to your vet's doorstep. And when you receive it, it's up to you. You can bring it to your vet. They can do a surgical insemination. They can do a TCI transcervical insemination. Or we've had many people receive it, open it up, load up their pipette and do their own AI. You don't have to let it warm or do anything special. You just load it up, put it in the female, it's good to go, it'll warm up inside her. So we've had all three, all three huge successes and uh, we next day ship it out, you'll receive it and then you can get your female pregnant. It really works great. I mean, we've done a ton of them to California, to Oregon, to Texas, uh, to Connecticut. Little uh, Diego has pups due in Connecticut in uh, 20 days. Shout out to Hector of uh, 860 Bullies. I can't wait to see your Diego pups. So uh, this is the process when you get shipped chilled semen from us that we go through. This is the process when you come to do in-person AIs, how we prepare the semen and what we go through. And obtaining this centrifuge and this semen extender has really been game changer for our program as far as upping the percentage of our female taking and having bigger litters. I think it's just huge. It's a great way to do it. That's the process. We've had a lot of people wondering, a lot of asking, and uh, that's the way we do it right there. So hope this helps you guys out. I really do. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. We appreciate you all, and we'll catch you on the next one.